Before we learn how to evaluate mutual funds, let us start by understanding what a mutual fund is. A mutual fund is simply a pool of different investments made by retail investors like me and you. And there is a professional fund manager that manages these investments by investing them into different asset classes. And his job is to generate high returns for us. Now, look at it this way. Imagine a professional basketball team. In a professional basketball team, there are different kinds of players who have their own strengths and their weaknesses. A professional basketball team consists of center forwards, of power forwards and a shooting guard as well. Similarly, a mutual fund also deploys its money into different kinds of stocks or different kinds of assets so that you get the best of all stocks, not just one single stock. And the coach of that professional basketball team is exactly like a fund manager of the mutual fund. The coach has to decide which player is perfect for the match. Similarly, the fund manager has to decide which investment or which asset class is perfect for that market condition. Now, this is all about how a mutual fund works and what a mutual fund is. But now, let us see how you can create and evaluate your own mutual fund portfolio in three simple steps. The first step is to know your risk tolerance levels. And to understand your risk tolerance levels, you will have to answer three simple questions. Number one, you should know your time horizon of investment. Now, the time horizon of your investments may depend directly on the age that you are in right now. The second thing you need to note is the risk capital you have currently to invest or deploy in the markets. And this also is very important to decide your risk tolerance levels. If you have a higher risk capital to invest in the market, you will be able to take a higher risk and you will be able to make a diversified portfolio. However, if you have a lower risk capital to deploy in the market, automatically because of that lower capital, you will not be able to take the amount of risk that a person with high capital can. So the amount of capital or risk capital is also very important to decide your risk tolerance levels. And finally, the third thing that you need to note are the investment goals or the financial goals that you have right now. To understand this, it's very simple. Imagine having two goals, one a short term goal of buying iPhone or a long term goal of buying a house. Now, in order to buy an Apple iPhone, you wouldn't need to invest for too long. You will probably want to invest for two or three years and you will be easily able to buy that new phone. However, to buy that house, you may have to invest for more than 10 plus years. And that is a long term investment. And that is why if you have a short term goal, you can invest in less riskier assets such as debt. However, if you have a longer term goal, then equities presents the best opportunity for investment. And using these three conditions, you can decide what your risk tolerance levels are. Now, once you know your risk tolerance levels, you can move on to the second point. And the second point is analyzing the mutual funds that you want to select in your portfolio. Now, this may sound very easy, but it's actually very time consuming and it requires a lot of effort to find out and analyze the best mutual funds that fit your investment style and that fit your risk tolerance levels. So in case you're not able to do it, especially working professionals who do not have the time or effort to put into the analysis of mutual funds, please hire a professional mutual fund distributor or a registered investment advisor for the same. Now, you have your investment portfolio with you in form of different mutual funds. However, the process is still not over. You have one final step and that is rebalancing your portfolio. Well, you can't just sit on your portfolio and just let it be and it will keep generating returns. That may not happen. You will have to review your portfolio time and again and rebalance the portfolio according to your investment goals and your financial needs. Now that you understand how the entire process of mutual fund portfolio creation and evaluation works, let us take a look at how you can actually create a portfolio for yourself. So here we have Aman and his age is 25 years old. 
And so, let's find out his risk tolerance levels. Number one, let's find out his time horizon. Now, since Aman is only 25 years old, he has a lot of time to invest. So he has more than 25 years to invest. So he has a longer time horizon compared to other investors. The second thing that we need to see is his risk capital. And currently, the capital that he can deploy in market is around 10 lakh rupees. And he wants to create a portfolio of this same amount. And finally, we need to check his investment goals. Since he is a very young person right now, he does not have a fixed investment goal, but he just wants to create wealth in the long term. Now, looking at all of these, we can judge that Aman's risk levels are high. We will invest 50% of his amount into equity mutual funds. Under equity mutual funds, we will put 25% of this amount into index funds and the remaining 25% will go into flexi cap funds. Now, with the remaining 50% that Aman has, he invests another 25% into debt funds, specifically guilt funds, so that he can invest for a long term in government securities. And the final 25% is kept as a cash component in liquid funds. Now, this 25% is kept as cash because whenever Aman sees a new investment opportunity, he will have enough cash to deploy that cash directly into that opportunity. And so, this is the entire portfolio that Aman can make right now. And with this, well, Aman now has a portfolio and all he has to do now is review his portfolio time and again and rebalance the portfolio if necessary. So basically, we can conclude that there are five important things that are required to create an investment portfolio using mutual funds. Number one is the willingness to invest. If you're not willing to invest, how can you create that portfolio? Number two is your ability to take risk. And like we discussed, you can find out your risk tolerance levels using the time horizon you have, the risk capital you have, and the investment goals you have. This brings us to point number three, which are the short-term and long-term investment goals that you have. Point number four is the asset allocation that you will do according to your risk tolerance levels. And point number five, very important, is the rebalancing of your portfolio. Now, with these five points, you can now create your own mutual fund portfolio and you can also evaluate time to time. Mutual fund investments are subject to market risks. Read all simulated documents carefully.